monster storm hits California, and I know I'm late on getting on this, you all. Someone was saying that they had a bad storm coming, but it looks like they're going to have back-to-back storms coming and hitting California uh, with like 101 mile per hour sustained wind, some waves, 50, 59 feet waves, strong enough to be felt on the Richter scale for an earthquake. This is... um, this is wild and um, looking at this image let me show you this image you all that i've got pulled up let me see if i can get a lighter image this image right here i see something in the sky i see something right here it looks like the outline of a ship in the sky and i'm not joking it's exactly what it looks like to me um, on a lighter scale if we come over here that's what it looks like you all a ship some type of a ship up there in the sky uh, this is california monster storms and i think that it is considered like a monster of a storm because it is like it, it's caused a lot a lot of damage but look at that you all I, i'm pretty sure that is a ship right here it has all the telltale signs of a ship a white ship at that so what's going on really what is going on in california there's something going on most definitely in california and um it's not good it isn't good you all it isn't let me um come over here let me close this out hello apple brooks honey hello everyone you all and i'm sorry it took me a while to get over here i rarely ever look at the news but this is serious what's happening in in california Let's look at this right here. This is, um, this is, look at this, uh, San Francisco Bay Area storm turns deadly as winds wind, as winds up to 101 mile per hour topple numerous trees. And that ain't the half of it, you all. The trees blocked the roads. They fell onto houses. They fell onto cars. Um, the weather service said the wind gusts were over 90 miles per hour that is a lot that's faster than we are allowed to drive in our cars 90 miles an hour so just envision yourself driving your car 90 miles an hour and you know what the, what the force feels as you're driving that car that is powerful that's sure to knock down anything you all it really would it would knock anything down um we're trying to keep up with all the reports. The weather service said over 90 miles per hour. A remarkable 101 mile per hour uh, was recorded by PG&E weather gauge in Marion County. Um, NBC Bay reported uh, other top wind speeds at 90 gusts at Big Rock Ridge in Marion County and 78 mile per hour winds at Soda Springs Road in Santa Cruz Mountain. 74 uh, on Mount Diablo 59 you all that is powerful they've been getting a lot of calls about dar- down trees and stuff look I've covered every flood nearly every storm in the Russian region the Russian River region since 1987 I've never heard this many calls for trees down during a winter storm in Sonoma County is what they've said never I see watch this report you all look at this um, so they think could the fracking and continental uh, continual seismic activity compromise the foundation holding the root systems what is fracking these people the trees are weakened lots of downed trees in Humboldt too uh, it's bad in West Marin many trees down in Guala Sea Ranch Point area the ha- entire south coast is in ruins the entire south coast is in ruins um, Many years of drought has done a number on these trees and saturated. Look, Sonoma, too many calls for their brain. When you live in the redwoods, it's the wind that's the most frightening. Um, If you own, everyone owned a chainsaw and they had a pickup truck, they they could clean up, they say. So you all, this is serious what has happened. I've come over here. They got more pictures on the Twitter right here. The tweet that is um, on here. Look at this. And that really does. It reminds me. It looks like a ship is up there. I don't think this is a normal looking cloud and it's probably not even a normal looking ship, a normal ship that would be up there. Multiple trees down on San Francisco, SFD going into Pine Roy, Roy, look at that. 
So look at this tree, you all. These look like really durable trees with a great big root system. But if you, of course, if you're going 101 miles per hour, you're going to knock over the trees. You're really going to knock them over, you all. Um, emergency crews were on the scene. Let's see this. Uh, the Weather Channel. Good evening. Did you take these pictures? TWC would like permission, the Weather Channel, to air them with credit. Um, that's very nice of the Weather Channel. Well, where are they at? I can't see them, you all. I thought I saw the original tweet. Let me see if I can get over here um, to the original tweet. Because when I went over to there earlier, I could see them. I really could see them. So let's look at this. Um, let me come over here. The West something feed. Um, oh my gosh. The Nacaso, Nacio Reservoir spill away as seen earlier. T oh, that's that's the 2019, you all. We no, I went into the 2019, you all. This is this is no. That's not what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Look at this. Trees and limbs in San Francisco impacting roadways and bus routes. Um, San Francisco, look at that. Look how do, don't these trees? I don't know what type of tree this is. Is it a hard bark tree? Some it's hardwood one because some wood that we burn like oak that's a very heavy tree. Um, I heard that Heather. Another one's coming, you all. This is powerful. It's it is. So this is this is 2023, 2023, you all, and another one coming. Dozens of them. Please do your best to avoid all sidewalks near Hyde Street and Larkin Street in the main li library. Falling trees could be a concern. They're going to, um, they're going to continue to fall is what is going to happen. San Francisco Police Department clearing down black acacia tree. Acacia tree, you are. Black acacia tree blocking the street. The Bureau of Urban Forestry, you are. Let's watch this. Let me make sure. I got to make sure I've got the audio on so we can see what they got going on here. Let me make sure my audio is turned on. Okay, my audio is turned on. We, we want to hear what's happening there, you all, because this is a concern. A lot of people's lives are in danger. Well, that was short, you all. That was really short, but that's okay. That is all right. KPIX reporter shared images on Twitter of massive trees down blocking roads in Half Moon Bay. Wow. It, it literally, it uprooted them. It uprooted the trees, you all. Let's see that. Look at that. Those are, those look like tall trees really tall and old trees that one does um what a mess and that looks like the ocean right next to it it really does um let me let me do this let's see what else is on here you all this is um the main rain band associated with the storm system has passed over the bay area by 8 p.m wednesday that was last night but people should not let their guard down. The weather service said dangerous wind gusts and falling trees will continue to be a concern through Thursday morning. That was today. And into the weekend. When more storms are expected to impact the region. A wind warning is in effect through 10 a.m. Thursday. Look at that. Wow. Send your photos to the San Francisco gate. You all. Let's push this over here. This is, um, that is wild. They got lots of coverage. Look at this. Um, let's come over here. Well, that's sad. The child, the huge power storm hit California. This is today. Let's see what, what are they got to say? Oh my God. This is like the apocalypse. Rainfall so heavy it's called an atmospheric river. Another heavy storm is hitting California. With down trees, rising rivers, and electrical lines knocked out, cutting power to oh, around wow. 100,000 people. Oh, my God! Sandbags have been placed on banks and before homes across the state, namely in the Bay Area. 
The San Francisco region is bracing for six inches or over 150 millimeters of rain. That's on top of the already saturated grounds from storms in the past week. We're nervous, scared. Yeah, we're scared. We're, we're getting more sandbags and just buckling down the best we can. With the governor having declared a state of emergency and the mayor of San Francisco saying they're preparing for war with the storm, flood warnings were in place across the state. Already over the New Year's holiday, atmospheric rivers or channels of rain coming from the Pacific drenched homes and businesses. This disaster destroyed all our equipment. We had to throw away all, 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 all our produce. He tried to build a metal protection to prevent the waters go into the restaurant again. Damages and victims aside, there wow. is a silver lining to the heavy rain. It could help with the state's drought. That is, if the replenished snowpack in the Sierra Nevada mountains stays put until the spring and summer. You know what the governor said? Did you hear it? We're preparing for war. That's what he said. We're preparing for war against the storm. Let's see if we can hear it again. Down the best we can. With the governor having declared a state of emergency and the mayor of San Francisco saying they're preparing for war with the storm. The mayor of San Francisco said he is preparing for war with the storm. Oh my gosh, I see a ship in the sky. Can you see the ship in the sky? Right up there, it looks like there is a ship right up there in the sky. Can you see that up there, you all? I don't know if you can see my arrow that is pointing up there to the top. It looks like there is a, a ship. This does not look like a normal cloud right in through here. Oh my gosh, he is preparing for war. Have you ever heard somebody say that against a storm we're preparing for war of san francisco saying they're preparing for war with the storm flood war with the storm damaging winds heavy rains hit california on thursday knocking out power to tens of thousands causing flash flooding leaving a child dead of a, a tree falling on the home high risk evacuations of high-risk coastal area mudslides mudslides killed 23 people in 2018 as the huge storm barreled into the state Wednesday authorities have warned the residents to hunker down at home in anticipation of flooded road toppled trees and other risk in Sonoma County Occidental Volunteer Fire Department said the child was whatever going the frigid <gasps> Frigid monster storm across the U.S. will claim that many. You've got videos of U.S. ice storms show people crawling. Oh, my gosh. People crawling up the hill. That's on the 28th. Did you see that? They had to crawl up the hill. What did, look at this. The state's capital. What were they? Oh, my gosh. Um... If you're trying to leave Cuba. Let me, let's get over here, you all. Did you know that? Look at this, the storm, this storm right here in Southern California was expected to peak into early Thursday with Santa Barbara and Ventura counties likely to see the most rain. We anticipate that this may be one of the most challenging and impactful series of storms to touch down in California in the last five years. Uh, Office of, wow, that car is rent. Look at that. Wow. The mayor said this. Look at this. Here's what he said. San Francisco Mayor London Breed said at a news conference the city was preparing for war. Um, you are that sounds you are that sounds really strange to me. Really, if you think about it, preparing for war against the storm preparing for a war look how they put it in parentheses what if they are and it, what if it is like weather warfare that's right weather warfare mm -hmm. oh my gosh storm drains um, they passed out emergency supplies, ponchos, 
to those who refuse to leave sandbags. Um, San Francisco International Airport down trees uh, canceled 70 flights. Look at this. Powerful winds gusting 136 kph or more forced the cancellation of them. Wow. Oh, wow. You all took down a gas pump. That's like tornado. That is like, I wonder what it would rank on the Richter scale. I mean, on the tornado scale, whatever it would be. You know how they do like F4, F3 tornadoes? But this is from a storm from the ocean. Um, good evening, you all. This is a storm from the ocean. 180,000 homes and businesses were without power in California early Thursday. The storm is the latest of three so-called atmospheric river storms in the last week to reach the drought-stricken state. M Governor Newsom declared a state of emergency to allow for a quick response and cleanup. Uh, evacuations were ordered to those living in areas burned by three recent wildfires. Oh my gosh, three recent wildfires. Wow. Drivers were urged to stay off the road. They're still got their Christmas stuff up. Evacuation warnings. Oh, wow. Let's see this. Every storm. Oh, I thought they said every storm counts, including yours. That's what I thought they said. Look at this. So now this is over the San Francisco. Get me off of here. No, I, I don't want that, you all. How can I get that off of here? I'm not even going to look at that. You know why? Because they had an advertisement on it. Look. Oh, it is a monster storm. Good morning, America. Let's look at this. Um. Just days after experiencing record-breaking rainfall, Northern California is being hit with an intense winter storm known as a bomb cyclone. Bomb Southern cyclone. Southern California also being slammed. Yeah, that storm has brought 60 to 100 mile per hour winds, waves as high as 45 feet. Joining us now from South San Francisco, California, is ABC News Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z. Ginger, this is a really scary storm. California has been under a state of emergency since yesterday. What is the latest now on the ground? Um, on the ground here, we're seeing the damage. Behind me, you can see what's happened. Um, the trees and the streets in the middle of San Francisco, they have gusts of 60 in the city, up in the hills of Marin, 100 plus. And so the core of that cyclone had with it those really strong winds. And even west of Tahoe is 132 mile per hour winds there in Alpine Meadows. So we still have high wind alerts out. I think flights could be impacted. Certainly high profile vehicles driving today. But again, this is just another storm in a litany of them that is coming at them in wow. the next week or so. And Ginger, uh, this storm is a result of a weather system known as an atmospheric river. Uh, can you tell us what exactly that is and how common it is, uh, especially in this region? Yeah, so the Pacific Ocean is known for atmospheric rivers, and an atmospheric river is just what it sounds like, a river in the atmosphere, like a big sky river. Um, what happens is, and you can see on the graphic here, we have the, the warm sea surface temperatures or the warm ocean waters in the tropics. And you know, this is 90% of the moisture in the world gets grabbed here, put up higher into the atmosphere, and then transported hundreds, if not thousands of miles, a lot of times hitting the West Coast, all the way from you know Canada down to Mexico. So yes, this is normal. What happened with this one is that that atmospheric river, which they can hold 15 times the volume of the Mississippi River, this one just came with a real punch with that storm, and it was really far south and very deep in its low pressure system. So that's why this one was even more intense. But scientists have confirmed, and it seems like we're always talking about how these storms seem to be getting worse, and they've confirmed the connection between atmospheric rivers and climate change. So if greenhouse gases are not curbed, how much worse could storms like this get? Well, like everything, right? Atmospheric rivers have been around since the Earth has, as far as we understand. So they are not new. But what climate change does is amplify them. So we actually have seen studies that say that the number of atmospheric rivers around the globe could decrease, but that when they do happen, much like hurricanes or cyclones in general, we will see them amplified, meaning wider and more intense. ABC News Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, thank you so much. 
So they said we're getting a scope. They said that that uh, atmospheric river contains 15 times the amount of water that's in the Mississippi. Can you imagine that? 15 times the amount. Yes, awakes, awake love. That's right. And you know, what was it in 1976? They signed an agreement not to use weather as a weapon against one another. They sound the, they sound, I can't even get the words out. They signed the agreement to do that. You are, what is this? And right over here? the next few days, Diane. Let's look at this, you are. Damage after a ma massive storm slammed the West Coast. Dangerous winds and rain caused flooding, mudslides, down trees, and power outages. Our Mulalengi is in Sacramento County, California, with the latest. Overnight, a major wow. storm barreling down in California. Winds gusting over 100 miles an hour in some areas. Look at this. The wind has knocked down the roof of this gas station. Waves of heavy rain pelting San Francisco are up to a foot as possible. Firefighters and police in that city rescuing a family after a tree fell on their vehicle. In Occidental, officials reporting an infant lost his life after a tree fell on a mobile home. This is probably up there with, with 19, some of the storms 20 fair years ago, with the amount of trees down. A lot of the same scenarios have happened this time that we have a long time ago. This satellite image showing the heavy storm as it entered the area, inundating the west coast with torrential rain. The storm so powerful, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration sending its hurricane hunter to better oh, wow. understand the severe weather. And throughout the state, authorities desperately urging residents to stay home. This may be one of the most challenging and impactful series of storms to touch down in California in the last five years. Well, here in Sacramento County, some spots still flooded from the last storm as heavy rain and wind come through today. That storm broke a nearby levee. That levee has since been plugged. And of course, officials hoping that that plug can hold as more rain is expected today and over the next few days, Diane. All right, Mola Lenghi, stay safe, thank you. And I want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z for the latest timing and track of this storm. Ginger, what can we expect? Well, Diane, obviously it is still quite gusty around here. Just behind me, you can see that gas station awning that was taken down. The winds in San Francisco up to 60 miles per hour as the core of that bomb cyclone came in, up to 100 miles per hour in the hills of Marin County. So it certainly had the pack with the winds. And then the rain, couple more inches yes helping drought but of course had some flash flooding see some of those t some of the wind totals and all the way down to Santa Barbara were really high now as Mola was indicating there's more rain where that came from and it comes in Saturday and Sunday wow. especially north of the Bay Area so if you're Eureka or Fort Bragg over to Ukiah uh, up just north of Redding some of the bullseyes there of the 10 to 20 inch nature that again still not going to eradicate a drought but certainly going to help and we just got in information about what will come in the way of elevation, snowfall on the order of four plus feet. So a lot of folks there in the Sierra have 173% of their annual average already or at their average to date, and it is just gonna keep blasting. Now, we just got the new drought monitor in, Diane, and watch that dark red color. That's the highest level or exceptional drought. That was last week. Then just because of last weekend, last night's rain's not included, but just last weekend helped get rid of that highest level. So we are chipping away but when you have a 22 year mega drought in the southwest and you've got an almost decade long in some parts of california it's going to take a whole lot more than one storm to get rid of the drought so do you all think that um this is um well i saw some comments about weather wars could they just be saying well we had a drought and they're flipping it around into a positive spin that it's going to help get rid of the drought um, look at this. The piers are collapsing. California Ocean Piers collapse. Let's see what this one says. They got washed out by the waves. They were so powerful.
Um, so they, um, California Beach Town residents woke up Thursday morning to collapse ocean piers, massive 35 foot in waves. In the North Bay, Sonoma County has opened up at? its emergency operations center in response to the storm and the potential for flooding. Yeah, Crown Force Hazik Medun joins us live from Santa Rosa. Multiple levels, says Division Fire Chief Paul Lowenthal. Yes, there's really two parts to it. One is making sure our community knows what's coming and what's been forecasted, not just the rains, but the winds. Uh, there's a potential for damaging winds, power outages, trees down, uh, conditions unsafe to drive in, as well as flooding. Um, so a lot of outreach done uh, over the days coming up to this. And uh, the wind is expected to increase as the night continues. And just to give you an idea of how intense the, the wind is right now, this is what's left of my umbrella after just opening it, it up. Just one second. So you all look at this. So, um, oh my, what what is that? You all, let's see if we can, can I make this bigger? The concrete ship at Sea Cliff State Beach is nicknamed the cement ship and it got washed away. That's, the, that's what I think I read. It got washed away, you all. Totally. Look, the bombing. <gasps> look how they said this. Wave forecasters. They're talking about a war. They really are. Wave forecasters with surf line said Thursday's bombing. West Northwest swell may be the biggest in 15 years. You all, this is, I think that they're really telling us what's happening. I really do. Look at bombogenesis. A weather bomb explode. <laughs> they, they got very dramatic words. A bomb cyclone. It goes by many names, explosive cyclogenesis, weather bomb, excessive explosive development, and less menacing, the bombogenesis. It's the most widely used thing. It's going to dump inches of rain and evacuation, interactive radar. Look at that, all of that, you all. So it's like um, they say the bomb cyclone is not a hurricane. It's a mid-latitude cy cyclone. So this is wild. And they really, they talking about as if it is war. That is their, wow, look at that. You wouldn't even want to be anywhere. That That's worse than a riptide. That would take you completely out. And there will be nothing left of you. It won't. Nothing at all with that, you all. I'm sure that um, the news, I'm trying to get this down. I'm sure the news has been showing all of this stuff that's been happening. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I th I'm sure they have. So, um, and more is coming. Look, a videos capture the chaos of the monster storm. <gasps> Professor, Professor Strange Finger, it explodes like a bomb. Let's hope that, um, what is this? It's a commercial. We got to wait for the commercial. And it's okay, we can wait. Let me see if I can get this down from here. Oh, this is it. Um. These four countries, Venezuela, Cuba, Cuba, Nicaragua, and Haiti, these four countries account for most of the people now traveling into Mexico. Okay, well, I didn't even get to see it. Um, so, yeah. It's storm kills, look, 24 across it. Widespread outage, you all. So, you know, you can probably see the images right here, too. Look at that. Oh, no. <gasps> that car is in mud and rock. Their house is destroyed. Oh, my gosh. Their house is destroyed. Monster storm photos. Um, well, we didn't see no more. That was it, you all. That was it. Monster storm photos. Mm, 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 mm. I've not seen anything like that, you all. This is really serious. Um, it is mudslides. Um, so, and then, then we have. Look at that. Can one monster storm save California from drought? Well, there's that. 
There you have it. Can it save California from drought, you all? It doesn't. It's not normal. And I've, I've seen in here someone said, you know, it was because we're going through a pole shift and stuff, you all. And then, you know, the Midwest was preparing for the New Madrid, the New Madrid storm, which they expect it to be coming, not storm, earthquake, earthquake in the New Madrid, maybe a week or so from now. Don't be surprised if there is one after the catastrophic damage on the west coast of the United States. Don't be surprised if the middle of America um, gets hit by an earthquake. I, I won't be surprised at this point. I will not at all. But this right here is horrible and it does look like there is a ship up there in the sky. This right here looks like a ship right there because it doesn't look like a normal cloud you you can you probably can't see it but it's right here looks like a white ship so um i am gonna go you all and um if you're in california our prayers are with you and if you have family and or loved ones our prayers were with you i, I pray that um god keeps them safe i i do and helps them through this um, terrible time that they're facing. And um, we can send positive thoughts, positive energy. We can. We can do that. And um, we just got to stay alert. We got to be aware of what's happening around us. Because if it could happen to them, it could happen to us in a different way. It could. So um, with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all for tuning in. Love you.